Back here watching Sky News. 100 days to go before the UK goes to the polls in the general election. I'm here in Middlesbrough South and East Cleveland, a marginal constituency, whereas in all the other constituencies in the UK, the economy is one of the big issues. And employment and unemployment, one of the issues that's been much discussed here, prior Purse Club, six firm college, where, of course, a lot of the, these young people behind me will be soon embarking on the world of work. And uh, they're particularly interested because in, in this, there they are. Hello there. Yeah, get on with your work. 6.5% is the overall unemployment rate in this area, which in actual fact is uh, lower than the national average. But amongst young people, that key 18 to 24-year-old age group, 28% of them are on job seekers allowance, and that is higher than the national average. So let's talk to some of the students. So I've got politics students, Alexandra Moylan Jones and Richard Walker here, also joined by Judy Burton, the college principal. Very good to see you. And I want to start with you, Richard, first of all. And tell me, I mean, do you feel from what you've heard today, I know you've been watching our coverage, we've been hearing from the, the party leaders, the Prime Minister, Ed Miliband, all attacking each other about the economy, the NHS. Are they talking the kind of language that you want to hear and understand? Well, not in so much as the economy can grow as it wants and decrease as it wants but we don't see it transpiring in jobs in our local area. Yes, unemployment might be low in our area compared to the rest of Britain, but for the jobs that we, we desire, there just aren't as many created. I mean, there's the STEM jobs created for science, technology and some maths, but there aren't many others created for what people of our age may desire to do. Alexandra, do you go along with that? What do you want to hear? 28% unemployment amongst the 18 to 24. I think there needs to be a strong focus from the party leaders on postgraduate unemployment because uh, the high tuition fees anyway are making university a lot more unattainable for students and those that are doing it are coming out of it with debt and no jobs to prove of it because there just isn't the jobs for postgrads. So what would you like to hear then for you? Would it be something on tuition fees? We're hearing the Labour Party might have, have something to say about lowering the level a bit. If they could lower the tuition fees, it'd be great because it would make university a lot more attainable for a lot more people. A lot of people are getting put off from the get-go just because of the price of tuition fees. And Judy, I mean, you, know, you want as many of the, the young people here as possible to go on into, into university and into well-trained, highly skilled jobs. But, but are they saying to you, let's start with that, about tuition fees, they're, they're feeling slightly deterred by that? Um, most of our students do go on each year to higher education, um, so they do um, have to pay tuition fees, obviously, when, when, they, um, when they finish. I think one of the issues, though, is that there's so many of the jobs that are available for graduates are not paid at a sufficiently high rate. And we know, of course, that the government has, is, has just realised, just woken up to the fact that they're not going to get the, that money back from um, an awful lot of our young people. Tell us how you're preparing them here, then. You know, we, we're told that overall we have to now have a, have a high-skilled, well-trained workforce to win the global race. Yeah. Well, we do, um, and that means that a lot of our young people should go to university um, and get a, get a good degree. But what we're finding here at Prior Purse Club is that an increasing number of our students choose to take on an apprenticeship after they finish their um, Level 3 qualifications, their A-levels or their B-techs. Um, and that is a really good route. I mean, there are... Um, I know Richard was talking a minute ago about the, um, the dearth of opportunities in this area. In fact, there are opportunities, um, particularly in the science, technology, engineering, maths, you know, engineering uh, areas, the chemical industry and so on that he was talking about. Um, so there are an increasing number of apprenticeship opportunities um, in the North East, but the difficulty is actually getting the young people in yeah. touch with the employers uh, that actually quickly, have those Judy, to offer. Just very quickly, Judy, what about funding and resources for your college here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, that is uh, an issue not just for my college, but for every sixth form college in the country. Um, in, in the time that this government's been in power, um, sixth form colleges have been hit disproportionately by funding cuts. Um, we're not in the um, pre-16 ring fence as other, other educational institutions are. Um, and so what has happened is that six one colleges have been subject to cuts year on year. Well, that's, a big, that's a big question then that I will take uh, from this and uh, deploy yeah. with the party spokespeople. Well, I speak to you during the course of the general election one, campaign. One, one thing that, that, you know, there is a glimmer of hope here. Um, in, as, as part of the uh, lead up to the election campaign, you know, the 100 years to go before the general election. The six, Days. 
Yeah. Sorry, did I say years? Day. Seems day. that long. It yeah. might seem like that in a bit. Um, part of the uh, 100, you know, 100, 100 day lead in. Um, the Six One Colleges Association, which represents all Six One Colleges in the country, um, has a campa campaign to get the government to refund the VAT um, that we have to pay as Six One Colleges, yeah. but schools and academies don't. They do not have to pay VAT. So that, that's, that an, that's an inequality which we're very keen to, to address. And you've highlighted it. Judy, thank you very much. Very good to see Alexander Richard. Thank you very much indeed for your thoughts. Well, that's uh, the view from our young people here in the North East in this marginal constituency. And there's a view shared, as we, as we well know, in many constituencies up and down the United Kingdom. We're also reporting today from a very crucial constituency, South Wales. Cardiff Central. Hey, Bert.